Hey, welcome back to Wildermyth. We're about to secure flying stub chimes. That's a sentence. Flying stub chimes. Time for chimes. Time for chimes. Time pies. Scramble the bones. Paint over the blood. <laughs> Cobnock, you are... He's, his brain is melting from parasites. Yeah, and lightning. Also lightning, yeah. Stuff He's the garbage into the nooks. He really is uh, becoming a mess of a human being. So I just want to see how long it would take to find an item. We don't have a lot of time. 24 days. Oh, we have, we have enough time for that. Yeah, do it. There's always time for pie. There's always time for pie. I was so mostly messing with stuff, to be honest. Hey. All right, we got heartwoods and fabrics. <gasps> Dunt chance. So Yo. Um, I think Santa should get that. That would be cool, actually. Yeah, because she gets her she gets her actions back when she stunts. So that's yeah. cool. Hit that stunt. All right, let's investigate. You're gonna want to stunt her growth. All right, 26 days of the 44. Huh. Uh, this is gonna be kind of cutting it close. Yeah, we'll make it. We'll make it. Tall wilds. All right. All right. One big day. bad. Let's do it. Here we go. I wasn't imagining it would be so unguarded. That looks like a water slide. Anyone game? Oh, Cobnock, you card. You goofball. All right. All right. I gotta read along with the reader. Uh, you want the narration? You take the sure. Narration. All right. The cavern of the sea spear lies at the heart of a magnificent canyon. The sides of the canyon are smooth and sheer, marbled blue and pink, molded and mushed by the hands of titans when the world was clay. Now the stone is hard and sharp and glows. But the canyon's deep places are strung with frag fragrant clear waterfalls and ruffled greenery. The it's mouth really of the pretty it did it's so pretty. Um the mouth of the cave is hidden. In damp shadow and fern feathered shade. But Warstar sparts it. He sparts it. <laughs> He's spotting it. And leads the way inside. Smell that? Oh, wait, that's you. Smell that? Doesn't it remind you of somewhere? It smells like the ocean. It smells like pie. Warm Careful. crust. There's holes. Don't know how deep they go. Oh, no. Warstar follows his own echoes into the dripping depths. Oh, wait, no, that's your narration. Okay. No eye has scraped these walls in centuries. The air is pickled and still. Would you eat a pickle pie? I would. It's smoother down here. But look at the ceiling. It seems to go up and up. Could be other tunnels. Something's glinting in the darkness. You see it? It's them diamonds. <laughs> it's them diamonds I've been hearing so much about. It's cold, sinking to your bones, kind of cold. Can't wait to get out of here, jump in a hot bath. Santa. Mm -hmm. This looks like the end of the tunnel. Oh, um, already? Yo, just speak, friend, and enter. All right, I'll open the door. Um, who wants to do that? Or Star will do that. Phone call. Oh, sh shoot. It's a giant, um, crab rock. Towering, reeking of algae and old water, it stalks sedately on its stony limbs while the world quakes. Uh, Santa is going to get out in front of this thing. Do I? I wonder... Mm, I don't think I have the means to do... Uh, oh, my, yeah, you can do Scalding Rain or anything that would take down its armor. Yeah, I don't think I have the means to do those things, is what right, I was... Cop, cop, just Copnock is going to try and do some shredding. You mean War Star? <laughs> yeah, sorry, War Star. That's what I meant. Oh my goodness. Hey, stunt, which means I get to attack again. Heck yeah, bud. Oh, you know what time it is? Jump time Joel. for pie! Oh. Time for... <laughs> wow, big bad. No time for... You got the no time for claw monsters unlock. Yeah, we beat him on the first turn. Good All right, let's get what we came for. It's here, the sea spear. Uh, the air in the chamber is clear and almost sweet. The corpse of the Great Guardian shrivels inside its carapace. Warstar approaches the edifice. The spear is a glass-like, grand. It radiates legacy and power. 
It's just strange. It's strange. What can this thing really mean to them? Uh, strawberries? Thought about that. So what if our myth of a hero queen with a spear to save the seas isn't really our myth at all? What if it's theirs? So it's kind of an emblem to them, maybe? Of a past hero? Um, As yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. No, it's, you. it's you. It's you. As Orstar grips the spear, firmly grasp it. Uh, a noise begins to grow in the outer tunnels. It's the noise of feet and hooves, of tortured lungs shoveling air, and the slickering squelch of creeping things. By the sound of it, a horde of gorgon beasts is pouring through the chamber, towards the chamber. We need... Oh, go. We need to hope they don't cut off our escape. I don't think we'll survive if we stay here. They have a cave troll. Oh, heck yeah, bud. Oh, it's a great spear. Um, can Santa please have it? Yeah. Stunt for plus it. one stunt damage, stunt effect, refunds an action point. Yeah, so it was made like, for her. Yeah. Thank you. All right, folk cards. Sweet. We just took down the big bad in like one turn. I don't think we're going to be too worried about... Oh, yeah, kill Caliban in one turn. Wow. All right, escape. The Gorgons will keep coming. Okay, so they don't stop. So I think we need to go back. I think we're going the wrong way. I think we have to go back through the door. Well, that's okay. I'll just undo that. hey -o. All right. Um, yeah, if you want to open that. Awful, Awful noises and rank smells rush out of the dark. Uh, now that we got our spear, I'm not throwing it to them. Any ideas? We're not trapped. They're entering from a different tunnel. Uh, skitter. Stop chattering and choose a direction. Hush. If he's right, our our way might still be open. Let's avoid as much fighting as we can. Escape is the only option. Escape alive. All right. Mission survive. I'm a silk step. Yeah. I, uh, oh yeah, because a bunch of us have already finished our turns. So it's just Lorenya and Gura moving right now. And then we our turn ends. Kind of want to see. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're good. All right. Oh, Bogmore's gonna. Oh, good. I thought it was gonna pull. Uh, what's her name? In? That uh, right. that Geist's move was suspiciously like clever tactics. That scares me. I'm gonna um. Bop. I got your back, War Star. Uh, I could probably kill that Bogmore. Yeah, do it. Solid. Splort. Uh, Santa actually can't uh, get through. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna guardian. Yeah. This is one of the reasons I didn't take the upgraded guardian. Is like, it, rarely no. is it going to do anything. Solid. Wow. Hey. All right, let's 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 move the party along. Um, remember, sh attacking ends your turn, and then the whole party kind of has to wait. Oh. Uh, and we actually like they're, they're going to just keep coming until we get out of here. So I think Santa will um, leave the front. Oh wow, we have a long way to walk. Yeah. I don't think walking through that corruption is a, is a problem. I think like like ending your turn in it is a problem. Oh, uh, okay. Either way. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Undo that. Undo. Why do I have control over War Star? I don't know. Maybe he was originally a shared character. I don't remember. All right, Santa's gonna charge up front. Kur Gura is gonna go back. Gurren Lagan, I remembered my very bad joke. Um, I'm gonna. She's gonna go back into Silk Step over here. Cool. War Star is gonna run up ahead. <laughs> Cobb is knock as the day is long. <laughs> <laughs> a broken Cobb knock is right twice a day. <laughs> When Cobb comes a knocking, will you answer the call? 
Oh shit, Cobnock, run! Run, Cobnock! Yeah, alright. I'll run. If we want, oh. we can like hold we can hold the line at the escape area and then just see how many of them we can kill while we hang tight. Gura's hidden, right? Like she can't get hit right now? I don't think she can get hit. I, I can't remember. I haven't really tested how good Grey Plane is. Anyway, it looks we like the, just uh, the path go. To is clear. Yeah. There might be some cool stuff over there though. Let's uh, all right. Let's take a let's take a little peek. Look, see. I think there's a. I think that square up there is just to let to 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 let you know that that's the spawning area. Oh, uh, okay. So I I think I led you astray there a bit. Yeah, that's fine. I, I tempted you peek. with secret hidden little, treasures. A little peeky look, see. And heads up, when there's an escape thing, um, the moment a character steps into it, they exit the fight, and the other characters are still left there. So gotcha. Just keep that in mind. It's like a druid stone. Oh shoot, I forgot that Cobnock is, um, like he was done his turn and he was stuck there alone. It's fine. Cobnock is in no danger right now. None. Look at that, they can't even make it. Alright, how far can Cobnock move? I'm gonna keep Santa where she is, I think. Um, yeah, or I'll move her here next to him so that they've got each other's backs. Uh, Warstar's gonna, like, uh, he's fast, so I think he can. I'm gonna take a shot. Go for it. I I made Liriana leave because she's not that helpful in this situation. Okay. Um, why are we attacking? That means we can't move at all. Well, no, but right now we're just waiting for Cobnock. Oh, okay, fair. Um, and I didn't want him to get like murked. All right, fair enough. Yeah, this is a good time to... Let's see how far Cobnock can get for, like, escaping. We should be good. Although, there's so many good through shots here. <laughs> yeah, but, like, you don't get XP for killing them, do you? I think we might get some. I'm not sure. I don't know how it works, actually. I'll be honest. All right. Um, yeah. All right, Cobnock. You, uh... I actually... He's going to stop just short. Okay, that's fine. I don't think Santa can make it this turn either. So, so you know what? Uh, have his back. I can't resist a good discus. Do it. Warstar will. Um, yeah, you can't hit anyone else, so he'll he'll move back and. Uh, oh no, Gura can't make it to the exit either. She's gonna have to do a shot as well. Actually, uh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> she couldn't reach. Warstar. Right, oh no. Oh right, we'll say no! Oh uh, no! We're gonna have to kill it with the uh, guardian. Oh dear! Oh no! Wow! Wow! That that was like tactical. Wow! They're stopping right in front of the guardian. They're not. Oh, there, there you go. Nice. All right. Shall we? Yep. Goodbye. Solid. Wow, we're like stomping these missions. Yeah. Yo, Gurren Logan. Elgorn Pike artifact. Deals so this is a good melee weapon. So um, Lorenia could really do with that. That's gonna up her all of her stuff. Yeah. Um, or we could give it to one of the hunters as like a secondary weapon. Backup. No, but, I'm gonna give it to Lorenia. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Um, and that plus her. Oh no, she has um, repost, right? Repost. Yeah. Repost day yeah. actually. Oh. Oh. Once per turn, Gura is refunded an action point after a melee kill. No. Grants two plus two action points instead of plus one. That sounds really good, actually. I'm gonna take that upgraded heroism, even though she has yet to use it even once. Um, you, you take it. We left that canyon and cave behind. The enemy's treasure in our hands. We should be joyful, but we know a clash is coming. Oh. We can't expect any help. Winning one hill doesn't decide anything. We can only hope this small victory buys us time. Oh no, an even bigger bad. The biggest of the bads. I didn't realize how close we were to like winning that chapter. 
Oh, did we actually, like, cross a few of these off? Yeah. Nice. During the years of peace. Uh, Kobnok spent time communing with the tortoise in his shared dreams. Shared with who? The tortoise, obviously. Oh. Uh. Uh, Lorenya went back to the place she grew up and was tr tempted by old acquaintances to remain there. But in the end, the past proved an unwise place to linger. Now that the job wasn't quite as dangerous, Gura became a guide to travelers crossing the more treacherous stretches of swamp and mountain. Cobnock and Warstar enjoyed talking about the old days over a campfire. Cobnock would always exaggerate how many monsters he had slain in- Wow! Jesus. Warstar didn't feel the need to correct him. Yeah, Kobnok's brain is melting by the day. <laughs> yeah. The first harvest from the fields around flying, uh, flying stub chimes was a little off. The stalks wouldn't grow straight, but twisted along the ground in a tangled mass. Warstar's daughter uh, has reached adventuring age. Conwit has joined the band of the rough darkness as a hunter. Dang. I didn't even cool. know that Warstar had a daughter. Yeah, you you just have kids sometimes. It's not necessarily it's not explained who you're married to, or like who you, I'm sorry, not married to, uh, but who you who you had a relationship with and then had a kid with. It just happens. I see. So everyone's got through shots. So do I want Rogue? That's fun. Or Thornfang? Oh, I like Thornfang. Thornfang is pretty cool. Oh, uh oh. So I, which means I'm going to be doing a melee hunter, which we haven't done yet. So that'll be fun. Well, I have to continue this transformation, which means I lose the wand. Yep. Oh, that's brutal. But it's so good. You, you can electrocute three foes. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, right. man. Santa looks so, cool, too. Hold on. So I would lose... Oh, do I get to keep my spear? Oh, no. I'd lose the super spear. Oh, no. Two magic damage, six range. So can't work away under dealing so three enemies. Uh, doubling in damage for each targeted hits. Oh, that's like the opposite of chain lightning. Rather than like decreasing damage, it increases. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm gonna be honest. I, I don't think it works for Santa. No, it's so cool though. It is really cool, and her arm looks cooler than than. Uh, yeah, looks cool. Um, all right, so yeah, Kobnok can't use any equipment other than his uh, armor. Um, let's get um, Lorenya. Uh, if we can get her, because she's got Repost, right? So we want to get her like a shield or something for extra block. All right. I forget how to do this. Uh, so I'm just going to see what the two shields are. I think they're the same thing. Yeah. They, do you want a shield with a spiky or a shield with a gold and blue? Oh, or a leaf shield. Um, kind of like the leaf shield. Take one less damage from non-flanking attacks. Shield reduce damage from non-flanking. Oh shoot! Sorry, I thought they added block. Hold on. Poison, net, throwing knives, hurl axe. Oh yeah, I forgot how much I like hurl axe. Warding or torch. Okay, never mind then. So those those don't help with that. Um, let's see what we've got for armor for her. Warding. Oh yeah, so oh, here we go. So you, know, you can see the um, the guard. Uh, we can get guard or mail. Guard is good for your dodge, which is good for repost. Um, and then mail is less good for dodge, and it's good for like tanking armor. So I think we should get you um, either guard or wilder guard. I like I like the look of guard or sorry yeah, of mail more. Okay. And I kind of like the the guard the is idea. good for your build though. Like mail is mail is bad for your build. Uh -huh. Not bad, but like, like you just you're less good at dodge. It makes dodging worse instead of better. Cl classic and... RPG RPG decision. Do you want do you want the weird clothing that is really good for your character, or do you want the really cool car clothing, but it's like it does not synergize with your build at all? So I guess this this tells us what kind of person I am. Brawl like, guard. I, the way the way that I see it is like. The actual, the RP answer is more guard, right? Because this character is like, hey, I'm starting to get really good at, like, being agile and mobile in combat. I want to stay on my feet. Like, it's it's the, something that looks cool or something that, like, not just is good for your build, but, like, fits with what the character is trying to learn how to do. But will we let her have the tier two wilder guard? Yeah, let's spend that. That's what, this is what legacy points are for. This is what I save them for. Solid. 
Nice. All right. Um, Santa's got a great spear. She doesn't need anything else, really. I think I want to get Conwit a good um, melee weapon. That's fair. Wait, uh, melee? She's a hunt. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I I'm gonna do a hunt. I'm gonna try and do a melee hunter with her with uh, Thorn Fang. If I'm being honest, I I feel like Lariana um, could use a better melee weapon as well, but I won't. Uh, I, I know I just got like a crazy boon, so I'm not gonna push it. I don't know. Let's let's find her something then. Um, dueling spears, I think, give you bonus dodge as well. Ooh. Dueling swords, I mean. Oh no, they give. Yeah, yeah, so they increase stunt chance and block. Right, so they're good for block, which is good for repost. So, but I'd have to buy two swords, because she only has the spear right now. Oh, you know what? They're all good for... All the tier threes are... Or most tier threes do some kind of block. Um, so, actually, don't don't let that limit you. Um, so what do you have right now? You got the tier one spear? Yeah. Oh, and it's an artifact. And does bonus damage. Um, that's going to be kind of hard to... T oh, no, you can get the Elkhorn... Pike, oh, Gordon Pike. If she's um, got a good weapon, then actually let's just like wait, because she's okay. already got she's got good armor, and that's gonna help her repost a little bit more. Okay. And I'm gonna get Conwit a good. Um... What the? Whoa! How come she can just build a great? How come we have all the stuff for a great spear? That's weird. Why can't you build a great spear? I'm confused. I don't know. Um, we don't have enough ingots or spell threads. Sorry, so when Lorenya, when we try to build Lorenya... Oh, hold on, we can build you a super spear. We can, but I mean, I got I got the armor, I'm, I'm alright. Oh, I see, hold on, you got two-handed. I can get the Wraith Killer. Oh, I see, so we're under Great Spear, and we can upgrade it in its current trajectory of artifact, or we can hop tracks to... Um, uh... Well, or, here's the thing, water my I, I'm not like I can't upgrade the current weapon to tier three. That's really expensive, apparently. But I could upgrade it to tier two. Um, yeah, or you could just get a tier three great spear. Although then we're then there's two of us with great spears, and I'm kind of thinking about getting um, Conwit a great spear because it would let her stay back a little ways. Um, and. Uh, Refunds an action point. Yeah, water is what the water enchantment does for any weapon. Mythic great spear. What is this? Is this just a normal stock standard spear? Uh, yeah. Um, I can't. I can't quite see what you're clicking, but the um, uh, if you're looking at great spear and it's not, you're not upgrading your your artifact track. You're either going to be looking at the water great spear or the um regular great spear. I can see what you're clicking. Oh, you can. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I can't see what you're clicking. Oh, I can see your mouse now. Okay. Um, let's see. Give give Conwit something. Maybe I'll get her an axe. Maybe I'd have someone with an axe. Uh, I am curious as to what uh, the crossbow, how it differs, maybe. I guess it would be one-handed. Yeah, crossbow is one-handed. Uh, shorter range. Um, I think it might be higher stunt. It would only be two legacy points to give her like the best um, crossbow. Yeah, but I want to. I've I've picked Thorn Fang because I want to do a melee build with her. Oh, okay, yeah, fair enough. Go for it. Um, so I'm just trying to decide if I want to go range and then go great sword and then we're all going or not, not great sword. Go uh, great spear and then we're all going great spear. Um, yeah, I might do another great spear. I know it's. I know I'm being. I'm gonna do it. You could have her dual wielding great axes. No. Um, no, I'll do the great spear, and I think we should upgrade. Well, I mean, actually, you you do what you want with Lorenia, but you can change tracks if you want um, to a different type of weapon. Well, um, um, how much legacy points do we have? We have eight. Um, if I spend four, she can get the tier two of her current spear. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Elgorn Pike. So we're short on hides and we're short on ingots. Current, uh, I just realized I've shortchanged Gura like horribly. She's still using a tier one bow. It's fine, but um, definitely she's next in line for something. Cool. 
I can get behind that. All right, happy with that? Yep. They're all getting old. They're becoming Some boomers. Some storms back. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be um yeah, and they're not retiring from their hero key, their heroing jobs. So I just don't know. I just don't know how I feel about goblins. They they keep you know they give me creepy vibes. You know. You can't say that, mom. <laughs> Some storms batter compromise into combative neighbors. Grudges are no shelter in bitter weather. Did someone say storms and batter in the same sentence? Yo. That sounds like that sounds like how you make a storm pie. Yo. Let's hope they say crust soon. The rains have been falling for a full week, with brief interludes of tense massing clouds and dripping branches. Mountain snows melted and water roared. Mountain snows melted and water roared from the heights. The seas whirled and rung at the shores, flung waves ever further. Rivers conquered their banks and marched wider. Valleys turned to huge brackish lakes. Lowland woods and the dams of dry times were swept away, as creatures of all shapes and kinds sought escape from churning floods. You think our Ulstrichs poisoned the weather? After all this time? Why? How? With what? I'm telling you, it's... Well, who else could have done this? I'm, I'm curious as to why Warstar's face crust didn't crust up more. Yeah, what the crust? Hey, yeah. we said crust! There we go, we're three, three elements of um, Storm Pie. Combine into Captain Pie. <laughs> I've seen things in the wild. Stuff you can't explain. And, oh, one at the door. The strange party of visitors begs a fire. They appear to be on edge, here in a common dwelling, and also very soggy. Arnon, you fanatics aren't welcome here. Why'd you come? The haggard man behind the horns, calling himself Arnon, takes a long breath and turns to address Sana and the rest. <laughs> this is you. Uh, why? <laughs> Ask well, my wife. <laughs> my wife? My wife. Ask my wife. She sent me. Can you believe that? At my advanced age, I grew up here in Hamdair, you know? It looks different. His two underlings shift and resettle their garments as they dry out. Must be about the flooding. <laughs> you know why the... No, everybody knows. It's those tentaclasts, the gorgons. They bring ruin on us all. Even the even the commonplace like orcs are becoming boomers. Um, which gorgons? They're blue. That checks out. <laughs> but I mean, who's there? The gorgons are flooding the world. They've set it in motion, and it can't be stopped. Almost. How? No, that should be possible. I mean, the rain, the melt, the sea. You're right, it shouldn't be. The great balance should be unassailable. But somehow they've thrown it over. So the terrents fall, the seas thrash, the soil seeps black down our warrens. Is it? It is Ulstrix. I knew it would be. Uh, Ulstrix? No, it's the Gorgons, I'm saying. The beasts have our war and hemmed in. My wife's inside, dry and warm. You need to talk to her. Oh, hemmed in, but you slipped by them. It's why it had to be me. I'm a master at looping the light. I tend to be missed. Do we have proof you're not going to betray us? Hey, I'm here, aren't I? I put myself in your power. He certainly gives us an option. A strange one. But this weather, these floods, what else can we go on? If you want to watch the world sink beneath a rising sea, watch all land things perish, then you're exactly where you need to be. But if you see sense... Oh. <laughs> Social commentary in my fantasy game. <laughs> and Arnon thuds a lump of soaked fabric on the table. Here, here's... Uh, oh, it's wet. I mean, it's a map. Sorry, uh, I'll, it'll dry all crinkly. 
Follow the map. Come to our warren. There. Learn for yourselves how you can deflect this drowning doom. And these lands all save. All oh, monster groups will do. Draw an extra monster card and everything. Wow. Jeez. Lots of monsters. Get ready for monsters. Fighting monsters. <laughs> oh no, we're screwed. Six uh, of us right. now. Yeah, so we can't all fight in one battle anymore. Oh. So Hem Hemdare is where he's at. Is that right? So let's ignore him and go do some fun missions. One thing we have the option of doing now, which I do sometimes when I get to three and three. Oh no, we have to meet Arnon at Melodin. So we Hemdare. Oh, Hemdare is where we can um, recruit someone. Do we need so, someone? Yeah, I always like to have. I always like to make the party bigger because what we can do now is like we can split into two parties, basically a three a three party and a four party. Um, and we could, probably could add another mystic so that uh, we have one in each party. Uh, each a, party a, is a fighter. A cob party and a knock party. Yeah, let's cob it and knock it. All right, cob knock and two smoking barrels. <laughs> so let's um maybe we can send one person to go recruit the newbie or uh. One party to go re recruit the newbie, and then another party will go um, map these lands to the south. If you can we, see where I'm. We can get Conwit to do the crap work. Why would you do that? Because <laughs> um, she's young. And well, she's gonna be she's gonna be the the fourth wheel in one of the two parties. Um, All right. Uh, so because the a like yeah she's newest and has the least um, like abilities, powers up, power ups, and all that. Uh, and also because, um, what should we call it? Right, she is, like, we have one ranged hunter, one melee warrior, and uh, there's going to be one mystic in each, so she'll be, like, the floating utility or whatever. Um, so how do we want to divvy this up? Um, I think Santa and Cobnock should not be in the same party, because they're kind of the powerhouses right now. Um, Fair. I think Warstar is probably a little less powerful than Gura, so, um... Uh, how do we want to divvy this? How much bigger so, is this world going to get? Not much. I think this is literally the final act. Like, I think this is how we finish. Um, uh, I think this is how we finish everything. All Strix? Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Well, why don't you give me... I'll, I'll take Gura and Cob Lurianna. Cobnock, Gura, and Lurianna. Well, and that, so those combats will be all you then. Which oh, I guess I'm okay that's with. right. Yeah, no, that makes sense. We we want to mix it up a little bit. Okay, so then why don't we do Cobnock um, and Warstar and Lorenya? All right. Um, and then Sana and Gura and um, whoever the new Mystic is and Conwit or no, let's send Conwit with with Cobnock, I think. All right. Cool. Is there a way to rearrange these so uh, we have like some sense to this? So let's let's send the non Cobnock party, so Santa's party. Let's send them to the recruitment, um, because uh, she's gonna she needs a mystic because Co Cobnock's not with her. So we said that it was gonna be Santa, Gura, and the newbie, right? Yeah. All right. Let's try. Let's see how they do together, and then we'll send. Um, I don't think you. Put, I don't think you included the Conwit in there. Uh oh, I just sent Gur. Oh yeah, is Conwit going with the? I thought Conwit was coming with um Cobnock, Lorenya, and Warstar. I don't know. I'm very confused. Let's send Cob. Let's, let's send Conwit there for now. She can join the other party. She can switch parties if she needs to later. Okay. Um. Okay. So we're gonna try and get to Dreary Call Workshop. We didn't really. Uh. We just kind of assumed that you were gonna get Conwit. I, 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 uh, like... Oh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I want to, uh, play here, if that's okay. No, I mean, that's fine. I think you've already got three characters, and I want to do a melee. I after. do have three characters. I forgot about Lariana. I always Talon forget about Lariana. Has been revealed. She, she's um, a B-side. <laughs> glad that she's not, say, the child of one of your characters who doesn't care about her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll we'll assault with these four and see how it goes. Time for pie. Time indeed for the crust of battle. Russell, Russell. Hoot, hoot. Scree. Scree. 
Wow. It's like you scared. One of those farmhouse toys where you turn the little thing and then it's the the owl goes hoot. I tend to keep things in. Are you good? Oh, I'm excellent. Just make sure you're the one to grab my boots when I die horribly from a bull horn to the gut. I'm good. Um, let's give her some attitude towards her dad. This will be some make some make for some drama. I've got your flank, right? I don't have flanks, jerk. Oh, War star gained temporary armor and warding. Plus one armor plus one warding. Okay. I, cool. I sure hope it is built into the game that it is impossible to have a relationship with your daughter outside of a platonic one. <laughs> I suspect that it is. Please, God. <laughs> All right, I got. Oh, we got deepest. We're fighting deepests. Uh oh. That's who, I mean, we're going to their house later, but okay, let's do this. Born Child, the Chosen, Woken Slinger, the Woken, the Woken. Oh, cool. Leaf Spirit. Oh, sweet. Okay, so hold on. Who, let's just take a look at our characters here. So, Kobnok can't hold weapons anymore, so that's not going to be for him. Um, Conwit can use it. Uh, Warstar can use it. You already have an enchantment, yours is an artifact, so it'll replace the extra damage and instead you'll get um, the leaf power, and the leaf power I think is you heal when you stunt. Okay, well then you give it to one of your one of your lads. I think I'll give it to Conwit because she's gonna be in melee more often. So I'm gonna have Warstar open the gate for her so she can just like run right after it. Go for it. Here, let me let me get rid of those lads for you. Come crowd, crapow. Yo, solid. Oh, I think I can get to it by silk stepping. If you silk step, I'm pretty sure that'll end your turn and you can't take it though. Oh, you got it. No, you I was Yeah, all you have to wrong. do all you have to do is get to an adjacent square and it triggers. So we are going to enchant the great spear. Heck yeah. So I lose stunt damage, but I get the two temporary hit points. <laughs> Salvage! I... Uh, I want powers. Wow. Conwit. First mission, you get a freaking legendary spear. Some of us have been, you know, like, in, in this business for years, in this merry band of, of dark whatever. What is our band called? Something of rough darkness. Yeah, the, the rough band of who gives a, a pie? Who gives a pie? Um, yeah, I can't get to it, so. Prophet's Fury. Ooh. Hey. Oh, hey, Guardian actually oh, did something. Oh, dang. <laughs> Arenia friggin' with the pulling the clutch out. I'm really glad I clicked that Guardian out of complete force of habit. That was excellent. I think this is the last uh, monster. Um, I'm just gonna go advance into the room. Go for it. Oh shit, no, there's more. I mean, oh shoot, there's <laughs> more. It's a little late to be censoring us. Hey, uh, Peter, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a question that, out of context, sounds very strange. Um, do you remember a very old Mac program called KidPix? No. I don't. Well, I wish someone did because then it wouldn't feel like such a weirdo asking that question every time. <laughs> it was P I X. All right. Well, I, I, you, viewers, you have something to Google now. That's right. You get homework when you watch this show. I wouldn't Google kid pics. P I X. P I X. All one word. Thunder crack a rack. Oh my god. Dodge. That's not crack a rack at all. That's hardly even a Holy 13 damage, huh? Oh the combat's not over though. Defeat all foes. <laughs> Including oh, the ultimate foe, capitalism. Oh, 
Ooh, I did not even see that door. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of this. We're gonna do a little bit of that. Oh, nice. Look, here's here's Thornfang, right? Wow. Yeah. That's why this. That's why it's nice to the spear because your melee range is really good, so you can kill a lot of people with the uh, sequential melee attacks. Nice. Ooh, link mail. <laughs> so it's actually a down. Yeah. 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 Huh. Okay, so this is gonna slow me down. Yeah. And Skank. decrease the yeah. dodge. <laughs> yeah, I, I get the joke. You're doing a very good job with it. <laughs> um. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can I? I know I've been getting a lot of stuff lately, but Santa just took down some really slowing down type armor. I I spent like a majority of our legacy points on myself, so go for it. I appreciate it. I spent like nine or maybe close to even ten of our legacy points on like armor and weapons and stuff. I appreciate your kindness in letting me have this. Let's secure it. Let's get items because we got we're gonna get some new people and we're gonna wanna load them up. <laughs> All right, I don't know why Yormus is funny to me. Uh, do you want your myth? Your myth is gonna be a mystic, and you're pretty. You're rocking it as a mystic. So I, if you want to keep keep going with the mystics, I honestly, I feel like you should have a mystic, and I would trade you. I would trade okay. you for um, any one uh, of. Let me see. How does this work out? So far, you have Santa, Conwit, um, and Warstar. Warstar. You need a fourth one. You you then, you, be, you have the odd one. You take it and you have a spirit. Uh, hold on. Okay, I am gonna take Yormuth here. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then He's funny. He's crew. cracking me up. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why he's so funny to me. He there is something. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. Uh, oh, this is you. This is me. The Gorgons are more widespread than we thought. We're handling it, but barely. Uh, who's Artger? <laughs> I think he's a random character who's uh, been created for this scene. I wonder if well, we've met him before and now he's older. I don't remember him. I think that, I think that someone was writing Arthur and the G is next to the H. <laughs> <laughs> but we're lucky to have Yormuth. Don't you mean Yormug? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's taught half the town how to handle a few basic weapons it's made a big difference in the mood around here he hasn't said anything yet I am very optimistic about his first line you should have seen them before seriously <laughs> but you heard what Gura said I've been thinking about this a lot from the sound of it I could be doing way more for us long term in a company like theirs Hemdair doesn't mean much surrounded by a world full of gorgons. What? Leave? But who's going to teach the other half? Vil should could do a decent job. She almost beat me the other day. <laughs> <laughs> this is the right thing to do. I can't turn down the opportunity to fight. I feel like your mo your moth looks like a char like a character out of a Beano comic, which none of my viewers will under maybe get that reference. But I'll come back and visit. I promise. He won't come back and visit. Oh. We can't let Bill's head get too big with me on, right? Mystic yo. R two. We said we'd go and pro we would promise Art Girl we'd we'd visit him. The Vagabond planet. It's, it's good. It's, it's good. <laughs> uh, ingots. I, we needed ingots. I've said this line now more times than time for pie, and I'm disappointed by that. But yes, ingots. We need uh, hides. More health. 
Um, oh, I think Lorenio could probably use that. I was going to suggest that Khan would get it. Um, Khan would, would do well with it, but I don't want to... Uh, I've been, I feel like I've been piling Khan up Khan would it is. Khan would need some cool stuff. Oh, stunt chance. Now, see, now I may take that. Yeah, definitely. And Lorenio. it looks... It look bussin'. <laughs> um, let's do Galbane's Mesa. All right. Hit it. Or, like, going the very long way around. How much time do we have? 62 All days. Right. A tile of flood. Oh, shoot. Christ. It's uh, no, it's Forbidden Island. Wait, what? Hold on. I'm choosing a thing, and I can't see the map. But once that's gone... No, I'm that's gonna... fine. Yeah. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. What is this? Just... Okay. This applies poison to enemies who step next to it. Um, metal... Upgrade my shackles get stronger, my stunning barrage gets stronger, my shard gets stronger, or Earth scribe. Um, you know, we haven't really needed like shielding. We've been like just stomping everything. True. So I kinda wanna try humanist. Um, I was gonna I'm very glad you picked that. I was gonna say I, I had one that I liked, but I wasn't gonna even imply so that you didn't feel weighted. But humanist is very good for exactly one reason. It had Sharknado in it. <laughs> Sh sh Shardnado, but yes. It had Sharknado. Sharknado in it, though. Correct. <laughs> Alright, let's dig. Diggy, diggy, dig. Galbane's Mesa has been revealed! Reveal oh, we, we can't do this yet. This is what we gotta do at the very end. Oh. Do you wanna clear the infestation? Yeah. Before we come back and join the other side? Hit yeah, it. Right. We're gonna patrol. Let's go. Something about your method really says, like, um, reoccurring character. <laughs> yeah, not a main character, but, like, he, he guests frequently. Yes. All right. No infestation. So now let's move. There's not really much we can do other than, like, rent, build fortifications for no reason. So let's go. We'll send them up here to the Thistle Fields. All right. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Although you do say you say that we've been stomping things like, and you're not wrong, but we also haven't been like reduced to, to four or three characters in a party. That's, that's true. No, I was saying it's uh it's Forbidden Island. Have you played that one? No. I you would very much like it, um, because it's it's a game of optimizing your turn to try and survive, and uh, every turn there's a. a piece of land is flooded and you have to rescue it Bang. yeah <laughs> i try not to over explain board game rules because even people who are fans of board games oh, don't want to hear them i think i have played it or i played forbidden desert yeah i played forbidden desert which is in the same series that one's harder it was very difficult we kind of figured a hack that saved us right at like in a clutch moment but i don't 100 percent know if it was legal i think we like combined two items in a questionable way i think i like both like all of the forbidden games more than uh pandemic i actually think that pandemic is like completely luck based i've tried uh, to, I've, like I've never actually game. played it it's i've heard a lot better it, but absolute bs <laughs> it's such bs you can optimize as much as you want, and then sometimes you just, the world gets sick, and hey, uh, you know, what social commentary in my board game? <laughs> All right. All right, we got some herons, some fog drifting in. Is herons. that not oh. a crane? I thought that was a crane. A cra I don't know the difference. Let's call it a crane. All right. Slosh. Splush. Slish. Good. An old... Pine wood crowns the high mesa amidst thistle fields. Great sequoias shoulder up to towering redwoods. Thick grown cedars mob their knees. Ah, swoosh. Wonder where it's going. Oh, wait, that's you. Wonder where it's going. What'll we find? Uh, that's you again. Tracking it blindly. Think it'll lead us to the godlands? Freaking Cobnock is looking like a monster. You narrate this bit. They spotted it that morning. The apparition is familiar to them only as a distant myth. Nearness now makes them believers. Just hope nothing comes out of this back his back end. Why, Cobnock? Why? <laughs> Would be enormous. I heard the locals call him Lord Evergreen. Yo, is that uh 
is this the monster that got stuck and like halted all of the uh, the world's like resources and and like travel trade to like a screeching halt? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. This is the monster that got stuck in like a ravine, right? And then basically no one could get like any 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 Sh show it when you upload this show me the episode where that happens because i completely forget about that. no oh, ever evergreen peter uh they move into the flowing fog <laughs> the earth holds its breath dampness you don't get to say that your line Dampness heavies their eyelids, darkens their hair. That was Smear your line. <laughs> Smears of silver shine on trunks, roots, and stones. The stumble and, f and feel a path over rocks and wrecks, chasing the giant through its noise barren world. To walk and shrouded. Walk shrouded everywhere you go. It's an enviable power. Oh, I think it stopped. Yo, it's it's uh, it's Zoa. You're welcome, anime fans. It has stopped. I think he's aware of us. Now it turns about somehow find uh, finding space high and mostly hidden in haze. Its face must hang above them. If this is actually a giant elephant, I am gonna fan. I'm gonna fan him a little bit. With bending bark sounds, creepy hips, folding legs, it gently lowers itself. Hitting its fitting its bulk to a tract of tireless ground. Uh, suddenly, wish we'd brought gifts. They're caught in its eyeless gaze and a silence that grows into its grotesquely long. It could crush them. That fact is certain as the soil. Stomachs harden, innards clench, muscles coil. Attempt to communicate. Snatch a twig from its mane. Then Conwood gives away her heart. Oh, ho, 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 So, um, last time I tried to snatch a twig from its mane and I, my roll failed. So I'm, any of these are interesting to me. I think attempting to communicate is just like clearly not our bag. Um, but, uh, I'm down, like, I'm pretty down for option two or three. Um, yeah, and option, I'd be up for option three. One, that's where you, that's where your heart was. Option right. three. No, 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 no. Don't click anything. I'm saying, option three sounds like we just lose Conway. I don't think so. And if that is the case, I'm glad to do this with a character that I'm not like uh, fully attached to yet. It's your so daughter. It. Yeah, yeah. Well. All right. It comes to her in a rush of knowing, the way a long faded memory sometimes surges into focus, standing within the for forest lord's foggy silence. Conwit knows, quick but with the weight of a thing considered all her life, the resolve sets in her. I guess you should be doing this, sorry about that. Yeah, this does sound like I'm about to lose this character. Let's see. Her whispered words barely move in the mist, forcelessly yielded. Callous, I've been called. Forbidding, aloof. I've never belonged anywhere, but I know. I could walk beside you. In your name, I could fight. I'd do it with a smile. Um, uh, Conway, you alright? You're getting pretty close to it. It's okay. <laughs> the mist thickens round them all. Spirals tight as white spooling yarn. Uh, Ooh. Wood smells and the bright tang of sap surround them. Then the white air fades. The giant rises on groaning legs and commences its long march away. He wrapped you in something? What, what exactly? Oh, my voice. Your voice! Comet's voice resounds, newly rich. A warm swirl of melodious wind to wrap lonesome furs. You think I've lost my mind, don't you? It's only my heart, and I've only put it where it belongs. Turn around. Let's be going. I'll have a long time to work in this world, and it begins with you. Calm quiet accompanies them worldward. For some reason, Conwit seems fine. Better than fine. Years won't touch her. Uh, I hear Gorgons. <clears throat> Battle awaits. Yo, I, I think that mm. would be really cool. Mouthful of pie. Mouthful of pie. That's why it's... An 
<laughs> That's some cannon pie right there. You know what my favorite kind of uh, pie flavor is? What? Wood. Cause you get wood that. Pie? You get that wood pie. Is that pie? Pie wood. I, I don't know. Oh. Cool. You like iced tea, <laughs> Peter? <laughs> How's that iced tea treating you? I love iced tea. <laughs> Um, no, I think that would be really cool. If you have the option in real life, like this, first of all, conceptually, this otherworldly creature comes up to you. And I suppose we're, you know, we're in a, in a scenario where like, you already know that other, like otherworldly creatures exist, but this one is like even far and above more otherworldly. And you know that you could just like, yeah, I'll just like give... Give it my heart, and maybe I'll live. Who knows? Who could say? Would you do it? So, if it sought me out, no. If I sought it out, maybe. I give that some thought. I give that some serious thought. Counter, counter uh, proposal here. It sought you out. It's a giant otherworldly guardian. Chances are they they'll do better with with your heart than you will. Maybe. Yeah, but I miss like it's if it if it sought me out, I almost like mistrust its intentions. You know, like, I suppose that's fair. Whereas if I tracked it down, then it's something that I knew I was choosing. <laughs> that's so why it did. Like... <laughs> that's why it didn't ask. You know, it's, you don't. You never want to ask yeah. for something like that. Yeah, give me your heart. You could be like, well. I'm just throwing this out there. You could give me your heart. You, you know what would be really funny? Just as a joke, if you gave me your heart. You know, you could actually do that, actually. That wouldn't even be a joke. That's how That's how you do that. That's how you set that up. Yo, you... what if we kissed in the giving our heart to them with Guardian before us? <laughs> just as a joke. Just because it would be so funny. Prank oh my god, that'd be, so, that'd be so crazy. Oh my goodness. Wow. What if we did though? For real though. What? Just as a prank, you give your heart up. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, big simple here. I'm I'm doing a cool I'm stunt pledging today. Pledging my heart to the forest. <laughs> pledging my heart give, to the a, forest. Doing a heart guardian. giveaway. Make sure to hit that bell. All right. What we got? An interesting uh, battle map here. I want to know how Lerenya has changed. Or sorry, not Lerenya, Conway. Um, oh, okay. Let's take a look at her character sheet here. Um, Mistfall. Ooh. Conway can draw upon the magic of the Forest Lord's cloak to vanish from sight in a silver haze. Once per combat, Conway's Forest Lord's cloak can becomes instantly hidden, disappearing into gray plane and cloud of cedar smelling mist. So I can gray plane as a free action once per combat. I thought her cloak looked different, but I wasn't sure. But honestly, that is the coolest looking cloak I think I've ever that's, seen. That's a really cool friggin' cloak. Yeah. Um, Alright, so I'm going to move uh, her forward this far, toward the right. Oh, new monster. Oh, jeez. Alright. Bartoth. I'm going to move... Um, oh, right. I don't have Santa in this fight. This is my first fight without Santa. Bartog. So, so Lorenya is leading. She's going to be our... She's like the front of the battle line here. So, uh, right. wherever you, you get her where you she's, want her. She's going to be okay here, and she's going to be able to hit some something. Right. Cobnock will infuse. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna infuse. Yeah, put her next to that rock because I'm gonna infuse that rock. Give right, it a let, spirit me actually, blade. let me switch weapons for a second. See if I can get close enough to shoot someone. No, no weapon switching for you. So okay, yeah. So I can't hit anything from there. So I will swap weapons again to my little spear thing, and I'm gonna silk step to here. I hundred percent would take whatever deal Cobnock took for, for lightning hands. That would be amazing. Lightning hands. I'm interested to see what his next transformation, if any, is. Because I know he's getting pretty long in the tooth. You can get uh, you can get lightning legs. Oh. Uh, you get like a free action area of effect stomp. Oh, um, wow. It's, that's not super accurate, but like it's just free every other turn, I think. Dang. 
Okay. Um, who is it? Cobnock? Okay. Well, Cobnock, you can. Maybe. Uh, yeah. Give the Rania yeah. enough ro enough room to move up. She could move up. She'd already run. Or uh, Sir? Do her thing. What the heck? What is this? He, the row did a search, which I've never seen before. Huh. Because I thought the enemies could see each other. That row is going to explode, I think, at some point. Oh, wow. So Bartoth I'm is infused with this unit. Oh, this is a spellcaster. Oh, wow. That's kind of uh, cool. Warstar's going to do a through shot here. Do it. And then we got we shred some armor there. She should, then, um, he should have done it in the spirit... Um, Thing. Oh no! Ah, dang. All right. Well, it's fine. It's. Oh, do I want Lorenia to do the mix. discus? Oh no. yeah, do discus because because Lorenia can move up and do her um wait her sentinel or whatever. Oh my god. All right, Lorenia, it's up to you. You got this. Revealed. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. And you get repost. Look at that. Heck Look at that. yeah, bud. You gotta love that repost. <laughs> Why do you insist on saying it wrong every time? <laughs> it's a ripoge. It's a pierogi, I think. I think that's how Rip you say it. Ripoge. So you think it as long as you don't stand in corruption doesn't hurt you that's correct don't end oh. your turn in it see look minus corruption all right, all right cool cool um i'm gonna wait on her second move for mm. you for lorenya to move the battle line up L lorenya took a mighty blow at some point and i don't know how oh wow yeah i missed that oh i bet you the row exploded i was not paying attention but i bet you that row exploded and did a lot of damage mm. okay well she's gonna have to stay a little bit back just a little bit okay that's fair. Uh, you know, Con I can discus. Conway, Con Conway can lead. Um, Here. Oh, Conway. No, come on. God. Uh, that was going to be a really cool discus, and I'm pretty sure that the raccoon would explode. What? I thought I could through shot the raccoon. Through yeah. shot never makes sense to me. Uh, Lorena is up. Oh. Um. I'm just gonna hold the fort. <laughs> oh my god. Whoop. Oh no. Armor shredded. Oh my god, she's dead. The moment uh, stretches in Lorena's mind. She sees the shadow of her foe. She knows what's coming. She can lean a little to one side or the other, but it won't change much. much. Then she feels something, a heaviness, heaviness in her hand. It has a name. Elgorn Pike. There's a story. Maybe that's it. That's uh, That it wants to tell. And only a sliver of opportunity left to tell it. Breaks. She falls back. Negative two health this campaign. Dies. Deals 15 damage. Oh my god. So when you, when you die, you actually get some really interesting character choices. Um, um, I, I really like the way they do the death mechanic. I kind of want her to fall back with negative two health. Yeah, that sounds good. That I don't want to... I don't want to... Even though I don't do much with her, I don't want to lose Lorinia just yet. Yeah. Totally fair. And the Conway is can kind of double his melee a little bit. So if she's gonna sacrifice herself with a cool story, I want it to be a, something a bit more decisive and climactic than this. Mm -hmm. The blow lands. She tumbles to the ground, gravely wounded, still clutching her weapon. In the end, she couldn't choose to part with it, even if it meant paying the price herself. She has just enough strength to retreat and will spend the next days tending to her wounds. Propped up at her bedside, Elgorn Pike will wait until she's ready to take it up again and let it sing. See, so take some time where your character heals, uh, but you can still you're still back in the mix later this campaign. Yeah. Um. All right. I wish I had had the foresight to spirit or infuse this rock so I could have gotten a nice 
combo off here. If you can set Comet up for a kill, um, I guess I can. can. Hold on. If I she uh, she gets or she gets the action back basically if she gets the kill. Here's the problem. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Oh my god. Very good. Go for it. All right, we're gonna step here. Do that. Nice. I'm gonna get that back, and I think I'm gonna start charging the bar. I think that all these guys are um, ranged, so we're gonna have to take the fight to them now. So she's gonna move up. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No. Dang it. <laughs> Alright, see if you can set her up for another kill. I'm then she can at least retreat after the the shot. I'm pretty sure I can just kill that guy. Yeah, do it. Oh shoot. Oh I can't undo that. Cobnock I, I I accidentally moved twice. Oh no. That's really bad. Maybe okay, War Warstar can't undo either. She, okay, make, okay. Uh, make a Conwit Mistfall. Um, okay, yeah, I should do that. Um, well, actually, at that point, I can just run away, right? I suppose, yeah. Um, so I will just do a Silk Step. Oh my god. I this is not, not going start, well. Yeah. yeah. This is the... Oh, shoot. Oh my oh, god. Oh no! Cobnock! Final moment. Uh, oh no, <laughs> not the turtle! The turtle! The turtle! <laughs> it's you. You have guarded well in life, and if you are ready, you may continue to do so after death. What about the others? They're still... They will be your first order of business. Oh god, there's no choice here. Oh, because you already pledged yourself. That's it for Kovnok. It's curtains for Kovnok. <laughs> Oh my god. It's you. Oh. There's no flash of light or rush of sound. Barely enough time for the others to realize what has happened. But as oh. they fight, a strength swirls through them, pushing them up and onward. Nah. You said I get to pick a form, right? I've given it some thought. Have I? Pie. <laughs> This is uh like a hundred percent not okay. So we can we can load back um to before the fight into one of the auto saves, whatever the last auto save was. We can, but we shouldn't. Well, we can see how the rest of the fight goes. Things are not looking good for our heroes. True. Um, so Conwit is just gonna hurt this bog more as much as. She oh wait, hold on. Is Warstar still up? Yeah, he's still up. Okay. Hey, your enchantment stayed. Nice. Oh, I should have uh, moved into the other square, but all right, that's fine. Thorn Fang. Um... Hey, nice. I'm highly concerned. Oh no! You stayed in the corruption, and no, she's it created dead. Corruption. It created corruption when I killed it. Minus to this campaign. Warstar falls back instead. Comet gets two temporary health. Um, or Comet dies but does 12 damage. Oh, I'll take the minus health. It's you. I'm sorry. I might not be able to finish this one. Don't apologize. Just get somewhere safe. Do you want to think... Don't want you to think I'm... Shoo! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, poor Warstar. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to hold my ground here. Um, see if I can kill the Bartoth. Oh. No! I'm maimed. Oh, so I'm going to lose one of my hands. I think that's what happens. Which means I can't hold a bow anymore. Oh, just a leg. Okay, so I probably lose some speed. 
Just a leg after all. More to life than legs. Warstar assures himself that this as he finds a place to wait out the battle. Defeat. Damn. Despite your sacrifices, the battle at God's Slope Gloom ended in defeat. Wow. Calamities. Uh oh. Alright. Kabnok Long fell in battle at Thistle Fields. I'm so sorry to see you go, friend. What is best? We shall construct a tomb to commemorate his story, plus two LP. At the. Uh, oh, sorry. Kabnok Long will be added to your legacy, or Kabnok Long will be forgotten. Um, so, the, uh, added to your legacy means that you can recruit him in other stories, basically. Recruit and I think what they Kabnok? Do, yeah, and I think what I think the way that it's supposed to work is that um, it like takes place in a time in one of these ten year interstitial bits when Kabnak was still alive, but like a different storyline. I think that's kind of how they do it. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure, but we can still play with him in the future, basically, if we add him to our legacy. I think we should. I think yeah. he was a he was a main character, for sure. Kabnak deserves to be remembered. That means we have to spend time building his thing. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, hold on. Not everything grows on trees, but more things do than you might think. Once every long enough, once every long enough, a starseed tree blooms. Its soft lights ripen and then float off into the sky. Oh, uh, it's you. That's where stars come from? <laughs> no, idiot. There's probably some symbolism in there somewhere. There are some lovely looking ones up high. You're not thinking of grabbing one, are you? Where is this coming out of? Oh, I'm thinking... So, um, right before we hit the combat, the other people were about to finish their scout. Uh, oh. The other party. So the other party triggered, like, right as soon as we finished. I see. Oh, I'm thinking. Because, see, the thing about a starseed tree is that none may climb it. Who makes these rules, anyway? Pluck the little light within arm's reach. Climb to a nice middle-looking one. A 72% chance, or attempt to climb to the top. I have decided that Yormuth is going to be a risk taker. Because a lot of people don't do that. And he's going to break boundaries. The question is, middle looking or high? If he's taking a risk, he's going for the, the, All right. he's going for going the, for the top. top. I'd put a warning on too, I guess. Keeps off all the hairy-handed rabble. Leaving space for those with some real competence. Watch my stuff. <laughs> I can't scrape together a brush pile, but you have to promise to try. I can scrape together a brush pile, but you have to try. Promise to try and fall onto it. Wait, that's you. That's fine. Uh, this is not a good, not a good start. Oh, no. Magic is not merciful. No matter how bold you think you are, magic flows into the cracks between your convictions. You think you can browbeat a stump into exploding? You think because you can browbeat a stump into exploding, you can craft with the glue that holds the world together without sticking your own fingers to your face? Wow. Wait, is that my limb or the trees? If he goes somewhere here... Crack! Yeah! Ugh! Ah. Ack! Crash! Clunk! The jostled tree lets go of its lights, and they float off slowly into the dark. Yormuth! You better not have any done any permanent damage. That may be the best I can hope for at this point. Oh, look at the his health. Is, the damage isn't permanent, but it'll be a while before Yormuth's bones are in fighting shape again. Maybe a little longer for his pride. But I got a bonus stunt chance. Hey, risk taker. Nice. Look at his health, though. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Everyone's dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, Poor Kovnak. All right, so hold on. Let's uh, let's build a station here. We needed, we had lots of hides, right, in fabric. T hides was what we needed last time we were. Okay, then let's do double hides. Ugh. Depressing. So everyone's going to heal. Tannery established. All right, let's scout. Really. Yarmouth uh, Yormuth is pretty beat up. Yeah, but we can't scout with two because we get ambushed then. Oh, we still haven't beat Godslope Gloom. Oh, okay, let's go build Kobnox Tomb with whoever doesn't... With whoever... Alright, uh, let's do it. Gura and Santa. That seems like a good 
pair to take care of him. And if then, we're going to we'll, attempt to build it, and then we should end the episode. All right. And let's, uh, Yormuth is going to go join the heroes where they are. I'm going to be cutting out a lot of the equipment management stuff, so yeah, uh, it's fine that this episode ran long. Cool. Conwit um, has returned to action. Cool. She will just work on building a bridge, I guess. Or pass. Grizzle Briar Headland. Carve a pass. Nice. Luriana. Looking her best. We are so screwed. <laughs> War hey, Star. Look, coming back. War Star. Tomb dedicated. Tomb dedicated in memory of Kobnok. Nice. Oh, wow. He doesn't even get like a scene for that. <laughs> wow. Kobnok's uh, okay. fall. So we can end here, and Santa and Gura are currently um, in enemy territory in an infested tile and could be ambushed, so it'll be extra exciting to see what happens next. All right. Well, uh, if you did enjoy this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. And any, any ending note from your end? Yeah, time for pie. Time for pie. <laughs> Ba 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 